all morning furious between Vancouver Island, the Lowell Mainland and the Gulf Islands are delayed or cancelled due to weather and staff strangely shortage. Great message for Great Victoria. Stay at home at most transport options are limited due to heavy snowfall during the night. As of 6 a.m., BC Transit has suspended all service in Great Victoria and several agencies are recommended stay at home and heavy snow continues with up to 20 centimeters of snow falling in the region overnight. Several early morning power outages have affected the West Bank with a nearly 1,200 customers in the East Souk area without hydroelectric. Power signs around 4 a.m. cruise a reef at the site of the power outage. MCOM service which serves Malahide is asking drivers to avoid traveling if possible due to current guidance for Highway 1 from Longford to Millboy. Victoria National Airport is warning travel to possible delay in flights cancellation due to windy conditions. He advised passengers to check with their airline and allow for extra time to get to airport. Vancouver National Airport said just after 1.13 a.m. it was temporarily suspended in coming flights. Passengers should check with the airline to find details and the low addition time to reach the airport in the north Sunnich. A very cold Arctic air mass is found over most of British Columbia, bringing heavy snowfall and extra cool temperatures. Stay tuned for the latest weather forecast, road closures, shoes and airport delays. People across British Columbia are waking up to heavy snowfall and extreme cold temperature as a massive Arctic system of the province. The correct and the article clumps of 10 to 15 centimeters are expected Tuesday afternoon and up to 20 centimeters in the southern half of Vancouver Island and the South Boy Islands. Snowfall and extreme cold warning remind you placed for most of the province. Across the region prepared to challenging road conditions with snow, slush and ice patches on the ground. Heavy snowfall overnight on the Vancouver Metro is affecting the regional public transport system and TransLink is warning anyone forced to use its to expect significant delays. Bus and SkyTrain lines in particular will experience the most serious service problems, including delays and flight cancellations. And while TransLink incidents they provide by service, it will be minimal in some areas, particularly parts of the Vancouver and North Shire and Barnery, according to the warning. Complaints about sidewalks not yet clear and the roads not yet salted fluid social media are heat of the Vancouver blizzards. While Metro Vancouver received a decent amount of snow over the weekend of the high risk expected to fall in the next 24 for our a quick walk through downtown Vancouver rural, a lack of attention of sidewalks even in establishment that host customers. A quick online temperature check revealed that the situation is worse in some region. North Vancouver is one such era. As Metro Vancouver drivers travel to negative and slippery snow conditions on the road, they have been reported of emergency response doors, brain run of by vehicles, roads vehicles were hit by road vehicles. On Sunday morning at about 8 a.m., after a night of snow, Fall, a further ring situation are flooded on 176th Street. This is the most snow I've seen for an area that I've been chasing today. This is Croydon. 32nd Division at 32nd Avenue. Surveys confirmed that police were called to the scenes and the multi vehicles incidents that damaged both of the ambulance and the fire truck. The crews of these vehicles were responding to a support call per prior 
to a cascading incident involving eight vehicles. A certified department spokesman explained it happened after arriving at the scene several passing crash cars lost control and turned around. One of these vehicles collided with the banks of the ambulance. Subsequently, this car caught fire. The message sent by email says firefighters quickly deployed it houses to put out the fire and while crews were dealing the emergency a tractor trail would down the hill at the lost control called it with a fire truck. Drivers who thought they would same time brushing all the snow of their cars on Monday morning were is for a nasty surprise near Burnery Cocked Lane border. After Saturday blizzard, the month line up near Como Lake Avenue and Clark Road wasn't the inevitable rush for drivers do who didn't take the time to firstly clean the car and trucks of the white residue. We were looking for any vehicle that were still covering the snow, a traffic police officer said, Kevin Connolly said. According to him, in two hours from 6 to 8 a.m., the police stopped about 15 cars. After explaining the danger of snow, obscuring headlines, tunnels and signal lights, not to mention that the snow obscures drivers' vision or break off and it checks, blinding drivers behind them. Officer rushed to the rescue, Connolly said. Then we helped them clear the car, he said. We had extra brushes with us. We found that most of the drivers we stopped didn't have brushes. We gave them a brush and because we cleaned up the car and truck. People who don't properly remove snow from their cars could face fines, Connelly said. But most drivers who pull it over the Monday morning got off with a whammy. The meteorologist agency predicts almost 10 cm of snow on Shaswa. This is due to the moment of Arctic front through the eastern part of British Columbia. British Columbia snow warning the effect of such wipe region even to noon environmental Canada said on the online statement that period to have snowfall are expected to Shaswa along with the eastern section of the northern Okanagan. Heavy snowfall is expected tonight. Drivers are advised to be prepared to drop their driving to change roads. Conditions as rapidly accumulating snow can make driving difficult to surface such as highways, roads, footpaths and parking lots. Environmental Canada adds that visibility can suddenly drop during heavy snowfall. Conditions are more extreme island from the north coast where there is a risk of frost time and hypothermia for places like Kidman and Terrace due to wind chill values of around 20 Celsius. Environment Canada said the next Pacific system will move night, meaning rain will replace snow at lower elevations of the south coast. Snowfall marks one week after the first major snowfall in southern British Columbia this season, with some passengers trapped in cars and buses for more than eight hours. Environment Canada recorded 14.5 mm of precipitation in Pembroke, but there is no official snowfall amount. The first major snowstorm of the season forced the cancellation of school bases on Friday morning and dozens of flights were delayed and cancelled at the Tower International Airport. It's the top of the British property is about 380 meters elevation. And that is how hard it is snowing right now. I drove from the Ocean Beach at 21st and Marine. Snowing like crazy downtown. That's the city fleet of 500 snowplows. Other equipment appears around the clock with an initial focus on clearing snow from major roads, major sidewalks, and the winter bike network. A tower looks like a winter wonderland just over the week before Christmas when a heavy snowfall covered part of the capital with more than 13 centimeters of snow. The snow warning of the city of Ottawa ended just after 2.13 pm on Saturday. The official amount of snowfall on Friday at Ottawa airport was 33.2 centimeters.
Wars. Environment Canada updated the snow warning of a town Saturday morning, requiring an additional 2.26 cm. The Meat Agency released no squall data early Friday for Niagara Falls, Wallen, and Southern Niagara region. The warning states that the local amount of snowfall in the Fort I area is between 13 to 16 cm. Environmental Canada warns strong that visibility can drop to near zero during heavy snowfall and local blizzards. The governor also declared the state of emergency in several counties due to a hurricane. Much of the South Quebec was almost completely covered in snow as the province experienced it in the first snowfall of the season on Wednesday. resulting in slippery traffic and more than 20 centimeters of snow accumulating in some areas. Climate Change Canada has issued a special weather statement predicting accumulating of precipitation and moody roads. The snowfall ended the late afternoon, with varying levels of snow accumulated reported in Montreal area and throughout the province. For example, 10 centimeters fell in Montreal, 17 centimeters in Laval. According to the Environmental Canada, 14 centimeters have accumulated on the south bank in St. Hubert. What are you doing? Oh my.